that's not the only problem hitting districts to start the year. A serious bus driver shortage continues. NBC 26's Kelsey Dickinson shows us why the shortage forced the Howard Swamico School District to change and even cancel some athletic events. Heading out on daily routes, a regular task that now has one manager worried. We've had shortages in the past, but never to this extent. I mean, this, as I said, you know, in, in all of the years that I've been doing it, 34, this is the worst I've ever seen. It's a crisis. Lamers Bus Lines provide services for the Howard Swamical School District. There are more than 70 buses on the lot here, but not enough drivers to meet the need for its routes and charters. I have the equipment. I just can't get the person to sit behind the wheel and drive the bus. I need people. Todd Gothier says he has 42 drivers and needs 15 more. This shortage has caused staff at Bayview and Bayport to change times for some sporting events this week, ask parents to help with transportation, and in a few cases, cancel games. We cannot meet the needs of the athletics during route time because we don't have the staff to do those trips. I feel horrible about it. I mean, I don't sleep at night. It's, it's a bad situation. Gothier says the district's athletic department is coordinating with lamers to reschedule games around route times. District officials say it's all about getting creative. If we have lights on a venue or on a field, well, can we utilize those things? And there's obviously some things like cross country that we don't have that luxury to be able to have a, a lighted uh, course. So we need to make sure that that's then a priority of how do we figure out how to, to meet that challenge. Mike Jewick says the district appreciates the help from parents, staff, other schools and lamers to make things work during the bus driver shortage. We know the benefits of different activities for kids and athletics for kids and you make a lot of memories and, and enjoy that time and wanting to do what we can to continue to support. Jewick says they will continue working with all parties to adjust future athletic events as needed. Kelsey Dickinson, NBC 26.